welcome to Election 360 with me, Shobhna K. Nair at The Hindu. Today, we are going to the sugarcane fields of Muzaffar Nagar Lok Sabha constituency, which also provides a window to Western Uttar Pradesh. But before we make that journey, a short note on what has been happening. We have a very captivating contest on cards in the Northeast Delhi constituency where Congress has recently announced the candidature of former JNU Students Union President Kanhaiya Kumar. In 2019, Mr. Kumar had fought from Begu Sarai in Bihar as a Communist Party of India candidate. So he has changed both his state and party in the last five years. He is facing singer and two-time BJP MP Manoj Tiwari. Considering both of them are great orators, we have a clash of wits and a war of words on the cards. But more on that later. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has issued yet another clarification on the whole controversy about constitution. Speaking in Gaia on Tuesday, he reiterated that BJP is not planning to change the constitution. He also repeated the statement that he made in Barmer, saying that even B.R. Ambedkar cannot abolish the constitution. These clarifications are coming amidst growing fear in the Dalit electorate that changing constitution could translate into end of reservation. Could this become the central theme of the 2024 elections? We'll keep a keen eye on this issue. But for now, we'll be joined by my very perceptive colleague Anuj Kumar, who will act as our navigator in Musafar Nagar. Welcome, Anuj. Uh, let's begin with the most basic question. Explain to us the demographic makeup and the caste calculus of the seat. Yes, the caste calculus of the seat is, uh, is quite uh, interesting. Uh, I know it's a Muslim dominated seat where, where at least uh, 5 to 5.5 lakhs uh, Muslims are there. And then the MBC is the most backward caste, which are the, uh, the porters, the, 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 the Prajapatis and the Sainis, the Kashyaps. Uh, so they are in big numbers. Uh, and then there are jars, uh, about 1.5 lakhs. And then uh, Thakurs, uh, SCs, uh, about 2.5 lakhs. And then there are Brahmins and Vesh, 1 lakh each or so. But who are the deciding uh, Muslims sort of are, community? Are Muslims and SCs are, are the deciding factors, but uh, the jars are the socially dominant group, uh, I mean the uh, socially dominant group here. Uh, so, um, and uh, uh, there are also, um, see, Mula Jats, uh, the Jats and Muslims, so they also uh, exercise control over in, in, in the society and in the farming and all that. Okay. Uh, so, tell me, who are the top contenders in this seat? See, we have uh, Sanjeev Balyan, who is two-time MP from the BJP, and he still holds uh, quite a considerable influence in the region. Uh, and um, he emerged out of that uh, Muzaffar Nagar uh, rights of 2013 as the Hindutva uh, voice in, in the region. And he, uh, the general sense is that uh, he had the jars who were kind of uh, uh, got tangled into those cases and all that. And um, so he helped them uh, to come out to face those, uh, those cases and, and all, all that. Uh, so uh, he one. Well, so that's BJP. There. That's BJP, and then uh, we have uh, Harinder Singh Malik. He's from uh, the India Alliance, the SP candidate, uh, the SP Congress candidate. Uh, he um, has been uh, lying low for some time when he was with the Congress. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he started his career with Lokdal, uh, then he moved to Janata Dal, then uh, Samajwadi Party. Uh, then he moved to International Lokdal, in, okay. uh, uh, the Haryana party. Okay. Quite then, a political uh, yeah, yeah. And then he uh, um, joined Congress for around two decades. He was with the Congress. Hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, he, he is When a, did he make his last move to last SP? Last move he made in 2021. Okay. Uh, uh, after and currently that, that, that he is with former agitation. Currently he is with Samajwadi Party. Currently, at the time he had described Congress as a barren land, uh, and then he he, he moved to Samajwadi Party uh, after the farmer. But his son has been wielding some influence in the region for some time. He is a sitting MLA 
from one of the members of Panagar assemblies. So, so he. Uh, while the father while had become uh, more of a kind of a social influence in in the in, in the jat belt uh, the son was really political in influence for some time okay. so um, they um, uh, come from the same area from where mr balian is so um, and we have the third dark the third horse one. Yes. dark horse sorry <laughs> right then the elephant in the room is the the uh, bahujan samaj party candidate yeah. uh, dara singh prajapati yeah. uh, he is also um, uh, has uh, some kind of money power to yeah. fight an election uh, yeah. like um, um, benji mayawati yeah. uh, picks a candidate one of the yeah. uh, one of the kind of criterion is is that he should have the the power to fight the election Hmm. so he has that kind of thing and then he comes from the prajapati uh, community and he's which the first is, which, which is, is uh, comes in the most backward uh, kind uh, uh, caste okay. so it's the first time that a candidate from the prajapati community is contesting for muzaffarnagar area okay so that has created some kind of buzz okay in in, in the mbcs huh. and uh, they have been asking for political representation for some time huh. and mr prajapati is the chairman of that prajapati organization that social or national social organization of these prajapatis huh. and they took out a march huh. uh, last year huh. um, uh, where they wanted more uh, kind of political representation huh. so and all along they have been with the bjp huh. Huh. Uh, so they uh, asked for more political representation particularly in west up huh. and they were stopped and uh, mild arti charge happened and all that so huh. they are carrying that those wounds huh. and huh. now the opportunity has come huh. uh, to take some kind of revenge or some kind of thing that the B bjp has ignored them so yeah. they have been using their vote for so long yeah. in fact the last election uh, yeah. which mr balian won with just uh, a, a margin of 6500 votes it was the uh, these communities which uh, changed the tide, which turned the tide in his favor Okay. At the okay. last minute. So, so we need so to see whether the discontent spills, spills over, over enough to uh, push enough, him out right, or right, not. Right. But you know, you've been traveling around Muzaffarnagar. Right. So please tell us what are the recurrent themes or complaints that you have heard. Uh, see, uh, uh, this is the place where the uh, from where the farmer agitation emerged. so those demands have not been kind of fulfilled completely Perfect. so that that uh, anger is there it hmm. not as much as it was uh, in the uh, 2022 election hmm. uh, but it is still there and the agni veer because this area pro provides a lot of kind of uh, is a catchment area for the army and from uh, from from jats hmm. so uh, it does it no longer looks them kind of uh, to the jat fathers and the families a kind of a lucrative career now hmm. for they would if they have to come back and all that yeah. so they think that there is some kind of uh, some plan to uh, um, to uh, reduce their representation in the armed forces yeah. Yeah. so that kind of feeling of discontent is there yeah. and uh, then uh, there was that wrestler agitation so so that those uh, those things are there these are unresolved issues for from them yeah. and uh, and then unemployment uh, paper leak so those uh, issues are there in the yeah. mm, and it's there across the board it's not just that that uh, it's not there in the bjp uh, um, uh, voter or the, so they might not be as disillusioned but it's there on both sides okay now mm -hmm. uh, explain to me uh, mm -hmm. this election is slightly different from the previous ones mm -hmm. because bjp and rld are mm -hmm. in alliance okay. and in the last two elections at least we have seen that rld has uh, sort of taken mm -hmm. away a significant portion of the votes mm -hmm. so how now that they are together and mm -hmm. the uh, bjp has given bharat ratna to charan singh mm -hmm. how does that play out i uh, see it's a, it's a tricky thing because um, uh, these uh, two parties are uh, some people say are natural partners but um, uh, many feel it they are not uh, because bjp has that uh, anti farmer image in, in this region and uh, and uh, and the uh, rld has stood for the farmers cause and it showed uh, in the assembly polls in muzaffarnagar bjp won uh, only one seat out of five Uh, and mr balian was held responsible for it and the, uh, some in the bjp cadre are kind of uh, are not happy that he was not punished for it 
and uh, but uh, and he he was he is being repeated when some of the uh, candidates in the nearby constituencies have been changed so that is one of the cause and then uh, uh, the rld uh, has not been able to uh, see it's early days but rld can uh, is known as a secular face in in the region it was uh, a jain's father uh, ajit singh who Uh, uh, kind of uh, mm, applied bomb on those fishers in the in the muslim families he he might have lost the election uh, uh, by a few votes but uh, he created that also this is interesting is that symbolism plays an Im- Im- important role and what see people don't speak directly in, in this region they speak through metaphors or similes and so if you go um, to the rld office in muzaffarnagar the on 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 single pole uh, on the on the rooftop uh, the rnt flag is flying higher than the bjp flag okay okay so yeah. this is a reality so it seems that bjp is giving them space to lead here yeah, yeah. so if they are giving them that space the bjp cadre is uh, feeling a little thing that when they have to lead it and why balian is repeated then yeah, yeah. so and uh, balian sahab has to tone down yeah. his his that that uh, hindutva thing hmm. uh, we when uh, balian mr balian and uh, jayant uh, went for that uh, road show uh, uh, when uh, was this recently recently yeah. last week so the lotus was in green color green and white oh wow so these are these are the colors of rld ah. so so they are trying to say and but at the end of it uh, on one hand when uh, uh, jayant finished his speech he he wished everybody the this thing for for navratras hmm. as well as eid hmm. so 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 uh, and on the other hand uh, so bjp is not able to polarize it that way at hmm. the grassroots hmm. though yogi ji comes and yogi ji speaks fluent hindi hmm. but when he refers to um, say the mafia that he has controlled he says uh, their nizam we have brought down the nizam or the the janaza or the funeral of of so people think that he is who he is targeting who, who mm. is referring to mm. so this is not uh, the language of rld so, so basically mm. if i were to sum up what right. you are saying right. uh, the vote votes transfer between yeah, the two yeah, may yeah, not yeah, happen yeah, as smoothly, smoothly as, as expected as, as expected after chaudhary jain singh's bharat ratna bharat ratna particularly in the seat okay Yeah. now you know the one very interesting yeah. aspect of this election is mm. that there is no muslim candidate right. among right. the top mm. three parties right. uh, considering the fact that in the last 17 election mm. seven times a right. muslim right. Uh, leader has won Even this muslim seat muslim mama sai saab contested uh, for me yeah <laughs> so explain to me Uh, they, they, how will this play out uh, they are uh, feeling marginalized and and, and disillusioned a bit hmm. uh, because uh, uh, they p- last time in 2022 they put all their eggs in the sp basket and the rld's basket hmm. and uh, whatever rld might say now they played a huge role in uh, rld getting eight seats in the region and five particular uh, in, uh, in this sp and and uh, in rld the assembly being, election uh, assembly election and rld and sp sweeping uh, almost sweeping the the muzaffarnagar poll hmm. uh, so uh, so they feel that uh, our hard work has not been the political representation and thing uh, we are being sidelined hmm. again uh, so um, uh, and they have a very point they say uh, see uh, jars are only 1.5 lakhs they are uh, 5.5 so they say that uh, balians and uh, uh, malik saab's uh, uh, villages are only a, f- a few kilometers apart hmm. and from uh, i think one village separates that um, their their villages so when two people can contest from one community can contest from there and muslims are such huge number why you say that uh, we will cut their vote uh, and uh, uh, people will get polarized and all that so yeah. they feel that way and in democracy they have, they have a full right to so they completely being ignored, uh, ignored in this ignored. in, uh, in, in this being, part uh, all, uh, and uh, sp the thing then uh, the sp would give them because there is a sense that azam khan sahab is being silent then st hasan sahab uh, uh, tick ticket was also not given so there is a, this, this general thing that uh but we have got uh, hmm. by uh, doing it uh, hmm. by going all out for for sp because hmm. sp's presence polarizes election more than the bsp's uh, so who 
is the minority voting for? Majority is still with with with, with Samajwadi number with, with with Samajwadi party. But these are the uh, things which they are saying hmm. that this is not happening. So it might lead to a drop in the voting percentage. Okay. This usually happens when a Muslim hmm. candidate is not there. The voting percentage is not that high. Hmm. Uh, but in 2022, they they broke the stand. So uh, will they be able to uh, as uh, remain as enthusiastic? Uh, or not it, it remains to be seen mm -hmm. also uh, the caste thing we that we haven't touched about the the rajput the discontent and all that so, yes huh? we'll come to that yeah. now mm -hmm. uh, what you recently reported mm -hmm. was that there is a widespread discontent among the rajputs in uttar pradesh and mm -hmm. specifically in your story you mention an incident of mm -hmm. sangeet som right. one of the bjp mm -hmm. leaders mm -hmm. attacking balians right. uh, or orchestrating mm -hmm. some sort of mm -hmm. a rebellion mm -hmm. in the seat right. so uh, explain to me how is the infighting in the BJP uh, sort of paralyzing their campaign? Yes, yes. See, uh, these two people are these uh, Sangeet Soman are, are the products of the same Muzaffar Nagar right? Hmm. 2013. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Balia, over a period of time, has cut down on his rhetoric. Hmm. Uh, and uh, the anti-Muslim rhetoric and become hmm. a more of a jat leader. Hmm. This is also creating a problem for him this time. Hmm. Because last time Ajit Singh was seen as a jat leader. Hmm. So these NBCs and all are were voting for the Hindu leader, Mr. Balian. Hmm. Hmm. This time he is being seen as a jat leader. Oh. So people are feeling threatened and they are saying that... Malik so there is, is this uh, natural animosity between the, 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 the most landlords, backward... The, and, and the landlords. Ah, okay. so, so, the, so those caste fault lines which were kind of covered by Hindutva over the years are hmm. now again showing their head. How much they will show, how much they will affect and will they come around at the last minute because some national events might happen because last time they said all these things were happening but then Pulwama happened quickly and then things change quickly. So, so though they are uh, showing uh, some kind of this thing, they are discontent because um, VK Singh's ticket, General VK Singh's ticket was, uh, he, he, he was not, uh, though he said that I was I not want repeated, to, uh, from, repeated from Ghazi from Abbas. Ghazi Abbas. Huh. And Sangeet Som was apparently asking for a ticket from Meerut. Uh, Sangeet Som, uh, mm, to clarify, is a Rajput leader of, is, the, uh, of, of the region uh, from Sardana uh, constituency, which falls in Muzaffarnagar. And he Lokhara. has also won uh, uh, assembly uh, uh, elections. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And last time he lost, hmm. and uh, he holds uh, Mr. Balian responsible. His supporters hold, hold Mr. Mr. Balian, Balian responsible. responsible for that loss. And Mr. Suresh Rana, who was the sugarcane minister in the Yogi government, he also lost. So okay. they lost and uh, uh, Mr. Balian was not dropped. He okay. was not given any kind of punishment after that by the party and he's defeated. Okay. So they are now uh, showing that, that we can't be taken for granted and they are also seeing that uh, the BJP by bringing in Jain, they, they are consolidating Jats. And uh, uh, so this because Thakos are also equally influential in the area, if, uh, so they want to make their presence felt mm -hmm. that BJP is trying to uh, doing something uh, and there is some problem going on between the center and the, and the state. So basically this Jat consolidation mm. with uh, Jayant mm. on uh, on board and mm -hmm. Mr. Balian projecting himself yeah. more as a Jat leader could right. backfire right, right. by othering the right. most he, backward. Uh, Mr. Balian did it uh, because uh, at the time um, uh, uh, RLD was not with him so he had to fight them so he had to show him as a bigger Jat face. But now he's there, but uh, now that image has stuck. So people think that that, that uh, only works of a, a particular community are being done and all that. So uh, uh, politics is about what is that uh, pattern client relationship. So obviously from whatever uh, Anuj has told us, uh, 2024 is not similar to 2019, where there was a clear wave. Here, there are all sorts of discontent bubbling under the surface. Keep tuned to The Hindu for more such inside stories and insights.